Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 3rd, 2023. Well, yesterday we had a bit of a banking worry came in. Um, obviously, the banking worries. Uh, We've had three bank failures. We were trying to ignore the fact that there were additional banking problems out there. And boy, they suddenly came in quickly as the bears feasted yesterday on those concerns and worries about the banking crisis. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Running a little bit behind today and boy I was running behind yesterday so I want to say thank you so much to everyone who responded to the video yesterday. You guys are awesome. I apologize. I went through and I read them all but I just didn't get a chance to to answer them all. I'll see if I can get to that later today. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we went May want to approach the market for today. Let's take a look here. You can see the diamonds had a pretty ugly pattern here. This is an evening star pattern and you can see it got pretty ugly here for a while. We almost took back last Friday, Thursday and Friday all in one move on the day as that banking crisis um, continued to raise eyebrows out there in the market. And um, that has ramifications for what the Fed may or may not do coming up later today. So as we look at this range here, well, we're, we're continuing to be stuck. Um, we're stuck between this upside portion of the range. We can't seem to get out of here. We're stuck between the low side of the range. We can't seem to get below here. Uh, market's really trying to figure out what comes next. Um, obviously, there's been a lot of hope, a lot of hype on uh, the earnings um, results, but that's not overcoming the banking issues, at least at the moment. So if those bulls find inspiration today, let's just look at this again. And I would suggest chance of popping up here if we can find a bunch of bullishness here in the market today. Um, if the bears find inspiration, well, uh, we look down here. Now, what I'm going to expect is a whole lot of spinning around and choppiness and whipsaws here in the morning as we wait for that FOMC. And then after that, that's when we're really going to get probably that wild price action, either bullishly or bearishly. Let's take a look at our SPY. SPY, very much in the same situation. Um, we've been stuck in this range. We continue to wander around in here, trying to figure out what our direction is. Again, if the bulls find inspiration, look for that test up here. Uh, and it's certainly possible if the Fed were to come out and be dovish and, and, and let's say we don't raise rates and they say we're going to pause for a while. I would guess that's going to give the market a lot of inspiration to rally. Will it break this resistance? Can't say that. What about the bearish side? Well, if the Fed comes out and says, you know what, we are going to raise rates, uh, we then may pause or we're going to wait and see what the data says before we make that decision on pause. Um, you could see the markets go, well, heck, uh, let's, uh, we don't like that. Um, that response and we could see some selling on that news so watch for support levels down in here to be tested if those bears find inspiration I'm gonna say pretty much the same thing with the QQQ now the good thing about the QQQ is it's been holding in here a lot stronger um, the big tech giants with their with their strong reports have been holding this index up almost on their own and as you can see very little response in here yesterday we did pull back and test that support right there that i suggested yesterday might be a possibility but they held in there pretty strong so if we can find bullishness today then watch for that resistance 
up there to be tested if those bears find inspiration to, uh, for today and we happen to break this level well then i would look for support level test down in that region of the day and 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 who knows the way we sometimes react to a fomc we might test both sides of that before um, we finally pick a direction um, into the end of the day and then keep in mind after we get into the end of the day another big tech leader is going to report thursday after Afternoon, and that's Apple. There's a lot of anticipation about it. A lot of folks thinking it's going to be great. There's also a lot of folks thinking it's not going to be good. So who knows what happens next? Let's take a look at our IWM. IWM took it the worst, and this is the most bearish index of the market right now. Um, a lot of the regional banks are housed here in IWM. And clearly, they took it rough yesterday, pushing all the way back down here to that support level that we had talked about. Now, if that support level were to break, then I think we're probably moving um, all the way down into this area of the chart. Um, if that were to break today, if those bears find inspiration, if the bulls find inspiration, well, how about we run back up here and see if we can retest this resistance here in the chart. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX um, had a little bit of life in it yesterday, um, really powered to the upside there for a while. And then we had that bullish push um, back up at the end of the day, it recovered, a, you know, 150 points, something like that um, on the Dow, uh, easing that back down. So we're maintaining in this price range here. So. Uh, what about today? Well, if the banking crisis continues to get worse today, if we see more selling in here, maybe look for that um, area to break in that chart. If it if it turns around and holds okay uh, today on that banking situation, we don't get a, a bunch more outflows, then maybe we rest in here until we figure out what the FOMC is going to do. So keep a close eye on this trading range in the VIX. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 gives us the best hope that we're gonna get a little bit of a relief bounce. And we're seeing a little bit of hopefulness here this morning in the futures. If you'll take a look right here, we came all the way back down here hard yesterday. If those bears find more inspiration here on the day with the banking situation, well, then there's certainly that worry that we could push down into here. If we get some kind of relief in that sector and have an FOMC maybe become a little bit more dovish, well then look for a big upside. We've opened up plenty of upside here in um, that index or in the T2122. So watch for that carefully. Our T2108, well, our T2108 pulled back yesterday, but no crisis here. Obviously, we rejected this resistance in the chart, but we're still holding support. I understand 40% of the stocks holding above the 40 day is a little bit on the pensive side we're we're not sure what's going to happen here today so just keep an eye on that if we start to fail down through here if those bears were to engage that's going to be a problem and then of course if we get some uh, bullish news look for that resistance to break to the upside our uh, t2107 t2107 very similar situation we pushed back we held in here on support again um, the the potential moves of this day are huge one of the things i do want to continue to point out is i really don't like this big head and shoulders pattern showing up in here so if those bears were to engage uh today you can see a, a possible neckline break here could really move us lower in t2107 let's hope that doesn't occur but um if the bears engage maybe that would be the case if the bulls engage let's look if we can retest this resistance up here maybe pop up through that area in the chart then let's take a look at our t2101 unfortunately our t2101 the the absolute breadth has not changed direction yet as you can see continuing to push that momentum 
right now in the down direction on the indexes. Um, if that regional banking situation were to increase, I would expect that to continue. If that ebbs a little bit, if we take a little pause, take a breath on that, well then maybe we'll start hooking over here today and maybe see a little bit of that relief coming in for that upside bounce. Let's take a look at our T20, whoops, we've already done our T21s. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Sorry, I'm moving pretty quickly here today because I was running behind this morning. Um, if you can uh, take a look right here, we've already had uh, mortgage applications come in today and they show a little bit of decline here today. This fluctuation, these wild fluctuations that we're seeing in the bond market creating some interesting pressures here in that mortgage market so a little bit of a pullback in those numbers today um, we're going to have adp numbers coming out here in a little bit some of those jobless numbers that or job jobs numbers private payrolls that uh, will be interesting remember we've been starting to see a little bit of a creep of more folks being laid off so that continues to show us that slowing economy we got a treasury refunding announcement here today that'll be interesting at 8 30 um, right there before the the bell open so kind of keep that in mind and then as we move throughout our day as you can see we've got a um, um, petroleum status number and then of course the Mac daddy of the day the FOMC and the Fed chairman's press conference um, that, of course, can create lots of volatility in the price action. And then as we think forward into Thursday, just remember, we're not off the hook. We've got international trade and goods, jobless claims, productivity and costs, natural gas report. And we're going to have the big Apple report coming in after the bell on Thursday. So buckle up. It's still going to be a wild and woolly week. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar here today. And unfortunately, guys, there's just so many earnings today. There's no way I can cover uh, many of them here today. But I'll run through just a couple. We're going to hear from um, Allstate here today. Keep an eye on Allstate. We're going to hear from Eat. Eat uh, looks like we've got a little bearishness coming in on Eat. We're going to hear from uh, Louisiana Pacific here today, some building materials. Uh, we're going to hear from PSA here today. Keep an eye on that. We're seeing some interesting moves here um, in regard to real estate, where real estate trusts are struggling a little bit, but but builders are really strong. Um, kind of a mix of things going on here. We're going to hear from OLED today. We'll also be hearing from Wingstop. And we're going to get um, a report from GoGo today. So um, quite a few reports in here. Make sure you check that notable list just below the title of the video. You click that link that takes you back to the morning blog and that will get you to all of those notables today. And there is a slew of them. So uh, be prepared for some volatility today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, once again, if you could do me that favor. And, and again, thank you so much yesterday for all the kind words and comments. I do truly appreciate it. You guys are truly awesome. Thank you for doing that. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you're new here. Make sure you click those thumbs up buttons and leave uh, those brief comments. That helps the channel to grow. Thank you so, so much for everyone who does do that. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at a few stocks that could be setting up. And let's keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Um, you have to do your own due diligence. You have to be very, very careful in this market anything is possible as we saw yesterday we just get those sudden um, shocks that come into the market um, creating um, lots and lots of selling pressure or buying pressure in just about half a heartbeat on some news event so just be careful and these are big moves it's not like these are little small things if you are over trading on one side or the other of the market and happen to be wrong on that or that report that makes us move it can be very painful and very damaging to your account so make sure you're following your own risk tolerances let's take a look um, i was looking at disney yesterday disney pulling back nice pop on thursday and friday pulling back into support here on that chart Why 
watching this closely to see if that can hold in this area and maybe start moving up. Now, one of the challenges that Disney's going to have is this big legal battle that they're going into with Florida. So it'll be interesting in here to see if this can garner a little bit of upside opportunity to push through to the upside. If we take a look at Netflix, well, Netflix is showing us a little bit of bearishness. As you can see, we're breaking down in this trend, losing some support here. And I got to tell you, this is starting to set up as a pretty bearish situation. If we take a look at our moving averages, we, we may be failing that 50 day moving average. And that would suggest maybe that possibility would come down and retest that 200 day. So keep an eye on that as this uncertainty uh, in market conditions continues to grow for recession and stagnation. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty out here on these consumer stocks. Let's take a look at AMD. Well, AMD finally had its earnings report and unfortunately it wasn't a happy situation here on that earnings report. AMD looking lower here this morning. Um, this lower high in here would be a bit of a concern to me. So any rally back in this chart, I think sets up the next opportunity to short here in AMD. I would watch that one closely. Take a look at the US dollar here this morning. US dollar all of a sudden weakening pretty sharply, gapping lower. We've been just flip-flopping all over the place here in the US dollar as we continue to see these bonds surge up and pull back and surge up and pull back. Now, yesterday, what was interesting is as the dollar went up, we even we saw gold move higher and gold move higher because of the fear in that banking sector. That was a really shocking, um, shocking move. Honestly, you would not normally see gold move up when the dollar strengthens, but boy, it sure did yesterday. And it's a flight to safety, I think. So gold looking in here, big bullish candle here today with the dollar weakening. That may actually help support gold to move higher here today. So watch that closely. Silver also big reversal on the day pushing back up. I would keep a close eye on that. Now, the weakening dollar may try to help support some of what's going on in the energy sector. Um, if we take a look at... Um, um, our um, XLE, the energy sector ETF, oh my gosh, they got hammered yesterday as the demand destruction in the economy as we see the potential of recession, stagflation, that demand destruction, not only here in the United States, but around the world, particularly in China, um, raise fears that, hey, we're just... Uh, oil is not going to be that important if we're slowing down this much and boy oh boy they got hit hard yesterday now with the weakening of the dollar that might help a little bit but as you can see here in the pre-market we're getting a push down here and if we were to break back down below that that trend break hit there that's a problem here so watch that carefully if you're holding anything in that energy sector uh, be really careful. There's a lot of volatility starting to show up here in that uh, with the concern on the overall economy. So be careful there. Um, also, I think there is, you know, it's interesting when we take a look at some of the healthcare sector, uh, Merck, uh, drug makers, uh, Merck doing really, really well, but BMY, BMY may be setting up short. Um, so let's kind of keep an eye on that. A lot of back and forth going on here in some of these stocks. We look at Pfizer. Boy, Pfizer not looking good at all. Um, we see UNH. UNH may be struggling. Big move to the upside there. Big pullback. Might be running into some price resistance, potential short possibly coming in there. So watch that carefully. A um, little bit of back and forth going on here in some of these stocks. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. day. Thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all the very, very best. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have an awesome day, everyone.